is his play Paladins back with another guide. This will be a complete beginner's guide on Makoa. I've got to warn you though that the first few hooks I throw aren't very good. First, I want to talk about the loadout I'm using. It's a great loadout for beginners because it features heavily Salvage 4 and Strong Arm 4, allowing you to hook more often and shoot your cannon more often, which is important for practicing when you're just starting out Makoa. I chose to go on the right flank and pressured out the Ruckus, and he used both his movement abilities, allowing me to hook. You may be asking why I was not going straight for the point, because the point is always going to be there unless it reaches 100, and they're not going to win the point just by standing on it. The main aspect to Makoa is his dredge anchor. That's why target prioritization with his hook is important. You should be going for squishy targets such as Cassie or Ying, and not tanks unless they're already low health. I recommend hooking after the enemy has used their movement ability. This means that they can't dodge it as easily. As you may have seen before, I missed the Ying because she used Dimensional Link. Another bonus for waiting until they've used their movement ability is that when you hook them, they won't be able to escape easily. And this means that you, along with your team, should be able to confirm the kill very easily. A maneuver you can use while hooking is to pull them while turning. That way you can position the enemy where you want them. For example, you could turn 180 degrees so your opponent becomes disorientated and confused as to where they actually are. This can cause the enemy to make mistakes, such as rolling into your territory. On maps such as Fish Market and Frog Isle, if you stand on the edge and you hook on and turn, you will be able to knock them off the map. The dredge anchor can be used in tandem with other abilities for great combos. For example, if there's an enemy Fernando with his shield up, you can shell spin behind him and hook him from the back. You will put a shield on cooldown which should be plenty of time for your team to kill him. Another common play is for a friendly bomb king to throw down his grumpy bomb. The enemy will scatter and may also use their movement ability as they do not want to be stunned. However, if you, as Makoa, stand near the grumpy bomb, you can hook someone back into the radius easily since they do not have their dash. Makoa also synergizes well with Maldamba. You hook and Mal stuns, which should buy plenty of time for your team. Furthermore, if you roam with Makoa, Maldamba will be able to pocket heal you very effectively. If you are playing with friends on Discord or something as such, you can say hooking so your team will be able to focus on whoever you just hooked. Moving on to shell spin, there isn't much to it. As for every champion, Makoa's dash is both an engagement tool and a retreat tool. Some pros focus their builds on shell spin with cards like Springtide 4 which will heal you for 1k when you hit an enemy. The knockback on the shell spin is fairly insignificant. A big gripe I have with new Makoa's is how they use their shield. Most of the time, they shield when they are low HP and the enemy just gets in the shield and finishes you off. Makoa's shield is the biggest in game, but only lasts for 4 seconds. It is best used preemptively to prevent a huge burst of damage. Namely, the spit of Drogos can be negated with your shield. Several ultimates, like Androxus and Ruckus, are also nullified. However, you must realize that Victor's Barrage will go through your shield. You can cancel your shield early, so you can put it on cooldown earlier. Also, you can shell spin while you are in the shield. Finally, the biggest problem with the shield is that there is a slight delay between you hitting Q and the shield popping up, which is an even bigger reason why you should shield early. McCall's ultimate, Ancient Rage, is a great crowd control tool. It is difficult to get kills with it as people run away and your movement is slow. You can still shell spin and hook while you are in his ult. It is best used in a bait situation. When you are at low HP and the enemy closes in on you, trying to confirm the kill until they hear that you challenge Makoa and run away. If you have more than whatever your base health is after the ult, 
you automatically stay topped off at max HP. If your opposition has a Drogos, make sure he has used his Dragon's Fury recently before activating your Ancient Rage. Another thing is that a victor using his Barrage can get hooked out of it, so you should be aware of that. The more practice you get with Makoa, the easier it will be for you to consistently land your shots and hooks. This means that you can use some more effective loadouts to suit your playstyle. One of the best things about Makoa is that there is no one loadout form. You can focus your shield to protect your teammates, emphasize on your shell spin, or have a hybrid loadout. The first two items you should typically pick up are a defensive and a utility item. I went with Cronus first because I wasn't sure if Blast Shields or Haven will be better since the enemy team had a nice split between AoE and direct damage. For your offensive item, you want Cauterize as you can apply the anti-heal easily. The great thing about this game is that the enemy has three pearls. DLS, Rice, and Kunt, a caster's nightmare. Albeit, they are not playing their mains. Even though DLS and Rice are playing Bumpkin Drogos, AoE champions, I've gone up Haven because I've been fighting Ruckus a lot. That was a great hook in mid air. Rice stored as Drogos, which is a big no no. Cassie, played by Kunt, must have gone to the Prometheus school of running away from things only running in a straight line allowing me to get an easy hook confirming the kill so that was a fairly surprising quick game let's have a look at the top play by Chrono Amazing on my team loads of salvo which I do not agree with whatsoever so he gets a double and assist Makoa is the best frontliner at flanking and which will be reflected in my damage here. This has been Play Paladins, Learn, Play, Repeat.